to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, your host, and with us today is Vijay Katnani, Managing Partner of J2 Solutions. Vijay, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. So, Vijay, you have done a number of things in your entrepreneurial and professional career, um, and one of them is being a managing partner of J2 Solutions. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about why you came up with that name okay. and what does your company do? Okay, so J2 Solutions, the name itself is relatively new compared to our history. We started the company in 2002 doing process improvement in, for the small to mid-sized market. Mm -hmm. um, up until about 2008, that was true, but all the way through, clients kept asking us to do more of the technology work and not just improve processes because the end result always involved improving technology. Mm -hmm. And was work that we didn't want to do, we didn't do, um, but clients kept asking us to do it more and more. Um, and back then we were called Asian, A-T-I-O-N, the suffix. Mm -hmm. So innovation, creation, validation, mm -hmm. you know, if you didn't like us, assassination. Um, you know, <laughs> A-T-I-O-N, so A -T -I -O -N. got it. And, and got we it. had the dash in front of it, so we <laughs> had a lot of fun with it. Um, it got crazy sometimes, but we had a lot of fun mm -hmm. with that name. And then in 2008, when the market changed, our business took a hit in 2009, 10, and 11. Um, and we decided to change our focus at that point to keep up with what clients were asking us to do, which is get involved in technology. So at that point, we switched our focus from doing strictly business process for the SMB space to doing project program management, business analysis, all the stuff that goes into the front end of software development, mm -hmm. and then doing IT staffing for the development pieces. Mm -hmm. So at that point, the word Asian, what really means an action or a process, no longer fit our okay. name um, of, for the services we provided, so we changed it to J2. Mm -hmm. And J2 is nothing more than VJ and Sanjay, who's my younger brother and business partner, and that's how we came up with J2. I love it, I love so. that story. Brothers a, working together. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of family a, business models, but yes. brothers working together is not as common. How do you two do it? Um, right from the beginning when we decided to start the company, um, we agreed that there would be separation of duties. Um, he runs sales and marketing, I run recruiting and operations, and the time vote, if there's 50-50, when we agree or disagree with each other, or when we disagree with each other, the time vote is, the tiebreaker is always the person that owns the function. And mm, okay. if, we, if the person that owns the function says, yes, I'm doing it anyway, and they mess it up, it's their job to fix it. Okay, And that's Fair enough. worked rather well 95% of the time. Okay, hey, 5% error, that, right. that, that's fine. Yeah, it that's works fine. mostly well. Okay, so brothers running a business, yep clear definition of goals, roles, and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You brought something with you. I did. Tell me why this is key. I've seen this before a, when you talk about your business. Yep. And of course my eye goes not only to the graphic, but to two items here at the bottom. And I'd like you to start at the bottom line first. Ha, okay. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to hold this up? Yeah, or sure, so, or I don't, I don't know if mm -hmm. people can see it. So the, the two items you're talking about is the two awards that we got. Um, like I said, when we changed our business model in, in 2000, 13 or actually 2009 um, and decided to actually spend time growing the business and we changed we actually took a significant change from being a lifestyle company to becoming a growth company mm -hmm. in 2011 2011 and 12 um, and because of that growth that we've seen we made the Inc 5000 in 13 and 14 I'm sorry in 14 and 15 we made the Philly 100 in 14 and 15 we were number nine in in 2014 and this year we also got the um, Future 50 Award from Smart CEO Magazine. Mm -hmm. So the, the other part of this graphic is really talks about what we are, which is a technology services company, what our vision is, which is building Philadelphia's most trusted community of experts, um, mm -hmm. and what our core values are, which is personal relationships, exceptional service, and thought-provoking um, thought provoking expertise. Mm -hmm. And then the back side of this same graphic is all the services that we provide. Mm. Right, so the top half of this is really the business path aspect of it and the business analysis, the project, pro project management piece of it, um, business architecture, business enterprises, and then the bottom half of this is all the technology stuff we provide and then the IT staffing. So when you're recruiting someone mm -hmm. to be part of your firm and when Sanjay is recruiting someone as a client, how do you communicate this so that everyone's on board? 
from the, the whole cycle? Um, so we explain that we are a really a niche player, right? So we mm -hmm. try to focus on the project management program management. We will be found is most companies don't do it well. Um, also, the one piece that I haven't said yet is the fact that when we used to be in the SMB space, we're now in the Fortune 1000 space, mm -hmm. right? So in that space, we both, Sanji and I come from big five, big eight back then in the, in the good old mm -hmm. days and mm -hmm. big four now of running large scale software implementations, right? So mm -hmm. we understand um, how to bring parties together um, and get them to collaborate on projects together. Uh, one of the challenges that many of these projects have is the business speaks one language, technology speaks another language, and we tend to find people that bridge that gap pretty well, right? Because to business people, technology might as well be Japanese, and to the technologists, business might as well be hieroglyphics, mm -hmm. right? So we bring those two pieces together. And I, I want to focus there for a moment because I think not only in your business, but also in what you do sure. professionally um, as part of some of your organizations, you're a big part of bringing people together. I do. I enjoy connecting um, people. And you, you're involved That's in a very it. special organization called Entrepreneur's Organization. Yes. Um, tell the audience a, a little bit about that and why is that important for entrepreneurs like yourself? A, so EO, or Entrepreneurs Organization, um, it's been around since, it was founded in 1987. Um, the Philadelphia chapter, I think, since 1980, 1992. Um, we're 87 members, 85, 87 members at the moment in Philadelphia. And it's a group of like-minded people. As entrepreneurs, we go around thinking that I'm the only one who's suffering through stuff, whatever that stuff might be, whether it's personal, professional, or family-oriented, mm -hmm. that nobody understands us. and it's mostly true until you talk to another entrepreneur and you realize they're having the same problems I'm having, right? So the, the big, that's one of the reasons that it started the way it did. Um, and what they do is they take the group of the people in the chapter and they break them up into smaller groups called forums. And that forum becomes your de facto board of advisors. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's not just business, it's also personal, it's also family, right? So whatever you're going through. And the idea is to talk about that five or 10% that you don't want to talk to anybody else about, right? Whether it's, I had a great day today, um, but if I talk about it, I feel like I'm boasting. Mm -hmm. This is a forum, this is a place for you to go do it. I don't want to use the forum twice, the word forum mm -hmm. twice. And, or if you're having a really, really crappy day or something really bad's going on, you don't want to go home and share it with your spouse, your significant other, or your dog, this is a place to come out and say, I have this really big issue that I have nobody to talk to. And chances are, Somebody in that group has gone through it, if not everybody has. And the way we help facilitate that is we don't give advice, we should talk from our experiences. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, as entrepreneurs, we know everything. We don't want to be told what to do. <laughs> no, but I've it's, never it noticed happens that every amongst so, entrepreneurs. It happens every so often. We know, you know um, but we don't want to hear advice on how to go solve our problem. We want to hear, you know what, I had a similar situation, here's how I handled it. And from a room of eight to 10 people, you'll get eight to ten different um, experience shares from mm -hmm. that and would draw from it what you want to resolve the issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. So given that, this entrepreneur's organization has sort of a membership requirement. It does. Um, and some incredible membership benefits it does. in addition to the forums. It does. So the membership requirement to get in is um, you have to be an owner or founder of a business that can't get fired. So you have to be a majority stakeholder, um, very important. Um, and you have to have a million in revenue or higher. Mm -hmm. um, those are the requirements. So in terms of the benefits, um, we, you and I were talking earlier being, I'm on the local board as well. They do board training and the training happens once a year in some exotic location. And this year it happens to be Bangkok, so I get to go to Bangkok this year. Mm -hmm. But that's the fun part of it. There's, I mean, it's part fun, part work. Um, but there's also other perks as well, so they do, two large international conferences so because of that I've been to Istanbul, I've been to Geneva, I've been to Japan, I've been to Hong Kong, mm -hmm. um, I've been to Jordan, I've been to Dubai. So I get to travel the world um, mm -hmm. on, my, on my dime, of course, not theirs, just to be mm -hmm. clear on that. Um, but you get to see some exotic places and because we are very type A personalities, um, we like to experience, did, did, did that notice that? Mm -hmm. um, we like to experience once in a lifetime things. So when we were in Istanbul, for example, we did dinner for the entire group, which was 800 people at the Grand Bazaar. Wow. That just doesn't happen. Um, you know, wow. from my understanding is it's never happened before in Istanbul. It probably never will happen again. Um, so when we were in Jordan, we did a side trip to Petra. Um, so you get to do really cool, unique things. When we were in Geneva, we did an event at the Olympic Museum. Oh, yeah. wow. 
when we were in Malaysia, we got to do a dinner with street vendors in this really sacred temple that only you have to be part of the family to even be on the compound, and we were able to get it. Mm. So, very really cool stuff. Significant. Yeah, it's all very once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime stuff. Once in a lifetime. Yep. You have an opportunity every day yeah. to make a big difference in a lot of people's lives um, through the work that you do. You must and know something the, I don't. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I, I I hear it. I, I hear a lot of things. What's in your future, I won't say what's next, because I know you're traveling. A, uh, you'll be a, tactical. You'll get all tactical a, on me. But um, what's in your future? I mean, because you're you're relatively young. I mean, another business, a, another location. Um, actually, haven't looked that far ahead. Um, my brother and I always sit there and you know complain about you know when things go bad. Like maybe we should get out of this, and then we're stupid <laughs> enough to stay in it, or you know stubborn enough to stay in it. I should say. Mm -hmm. um, so haven't gotten past that. At the moment, we're in growth mode. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to continue growing the company. So for the near future, that's it. Um, down the road, I mean, you know, who knows what else life will bring and what changes it will bring. But when that happens, we'll tackle that as well. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Vijay, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Um, really excited to have you on the show. Um, I know you travel a so, lot. I know you value serving your customers. Yes, and I know so. you and your brother are the dynamic duo, even though you're officially <laughs> listed as J2 Solutions. <laughs> so thanks again for being on the show. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. And so thank you again for joining us on Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. Our guest today has been Vijay Katnani from J2 Solutions. Thank you.